camera. Kia ora team and uh, welcome back to another Weddy Southland video. Um, today we dropped a camera down to 20 plus metres um, on a little rig that Alex made up uh, to see what's on the bottom. So here we can see a whole bunch of blue cod coming in. Uh, we were getting bites at the spot so hence why we put the cameras down. Um, yeah, first time we put bait on, second time we didn't really bother about it. And as you can see these guys are coming in, there's just a tiny bit of skin left on here. Um, but they're still curious as, just coming in, checking out the camera. In fact, one of these dudes here, in a sec, he just comes and has a stare at it. Um, interesting, if you look at the background, you can see that they'll naturally sort of just come in and just sit off and have a look. Um, this is quite what we see spearfishing as well. Um, they're kind of just all chilling around. It's cool to see the good numbers sitting down here. Um, and uh, obviously this dude here, yeah, <laughs> he just comes and stares straight at the camera. Like, he must be staring straight at the lens because there's nothing else to look at. But... Um, he yeah, wasn't obviously shy, just wanted to come up and have a look. Um, we were catching good sized cod here as well, so it's nice to see these in good numbers. Um, but more interesting, it was just good to see what was on the bottom here. Um, it's always interesting when you're seeing on the sounder to what you're actually looking at. Um, and you can see these guys just coming in, they, they, grabbed, the, they grabbed the hook and which tipped the rig on its side. Um, but you can just see them all just milling around. It's interesting that there's no real reason for them to be here, there wasn't any rock or structure. Um, they just seem to be hanging around this patch of um, sort of the bottom. It's all quite barren and not a lot going on with it, um, apart from a little bit of kelp, obviously. But, um, yeah, super cool to see these guys having a crack. Um, and, and the spinning that they do, which you'll see better on in the video, um, how they, that's how they feed, where they attack the hook, and they'll, they'll do circles over it. Um, it was also quite interesting to see um, a whole bunch of terakee down here. Um, so I've slowed this video right down. Um, so excuse the poor quality of it, but you can see just up on the right of the frame here, uh, there's a nice sized terakee. Um, sort of a couple of more glimpses of them um, on, on other sort of shots. But yeah, makes me think maybe I should um, put down some smaller hooks with a little bit of smaller bait, see if we can't catch terakee, um, which seem to be cohabitating a lot of where the cod are. So yeah, I don't know, pretty interesting, pretty cool to see. This was the actual first attempt, but it's not as good video. Um, the second attempt, we just laid it on the bottom and let the line slowly out as we drifted. This time um, I lifted it up and obviously got the bait on it. Um, and you can see that this, all this did is um, make the cod come and smash the hook and then just start spinning circles, which just threw the jig round um, all over the place. But yeah, they were quite curious again with the camera. It would be interesting to see if there were cooter there. I'm sure they would have smashed it. Um, but interesting, again, there's just blue cod in this area. Um, you don't see a lot of other fish. We saw um, a couple of little terakee on some um, poorer quality footage, but um, yeah, the, the funny thing I found about this dude is this guy, you can just see him coming on the camera now with the hook, um, and he's got, a, he's got the hook in his mouth, using it like a, uh, like a, like a knife, and he's, um, he's actually using it to fend off his mates with the hook. Um, look, is this the first time of uh, people using, uh, fish using tools? Who knows? But um, yeah, it was pretty funny to see, and as you can see in a minute, you'll see what I talk about the roll, um, and this is how they feed. They grab onto the food and they and they twist and they roll and roll and roll. Um, and he's just about to do it in a sec. And that's why they're so hard on tackle and gear. Um, because of this rolling that you'll see. Uh, there you go. And yeah, that's how they spin. And that's why your lines are always so twisted with them. But um, yeah, cheers team. We're going to try this rig out a few more times um, in, in some different terrain. See if we can find some different fish. But as always, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. It's what gives us the motivation to keep making this content. You can follow us on Facebook um, and Instagram. But yeah, keep safe and like and subscribe for more videos. Cheers team. Bye.